Hey guys, got a brand new video for you today. And today we're just looking at this little tips video. And as you can see, I unboxed the Google Pixel XL and it's actually my friend's phone and he's switching from iPhone. So I thought I would make this quick little video just to show you how easy it is to transfer over your contacts, pictures, uh, even does your text messages and everything over to the Google Pixel. So you pretty much can leave off where you were on your iPhone. So let's get into that right now. All right, so once your Pixel started, you're gonna copy your data using the USB to USB type C adapter included with the phone plugging your lightning cable into the one end and the other end into the iPhone. Then you can click on copy your data and it's gonna to connect to the internet and actually download the file transfer app. And it takes a little while, but once it's done, you're good to go. Now you can trust this. And then when it's ready to go, it'll start copying over the files. But in my case, I had a backup encryption turned on in the iPhone. So you have to go into iTunes and actually uncheck the encrypt iPhone backup. And what it does is it just takes that encryption off and it takes a little while. But once you're done that, then you can basically copy the files over. So once iTunes is done, you can unplug it from the laptop and plug it back into the Google Pixel. And from here on out, it'll actually walk you through a few more steps. You, I'm just skipping through these quick. And uh, this takes a little while, maybe about four, four minutes. It said one minute, but it actually took more like four minutes. And you can actually select what things you want to copy over. And that's pretty cool. So once it's done copying over, it wants you to set up the phone with unlocking with a fingerprint. I'm just going to skip through all this stuff. And uh, basically just setting up the phone from here on out. But what I want to see is if the contacts got copied over properly and it looks like it is. And uh, taking a look at photos, it looks like it copied over all the photos as well. Uh, Google wants you to sign up through Google Photos and a bunch of other things. I just skipped through that. But uh, you can see it copied over the photos and that's pretty easy. All right, guys, hopefully that little tip video helped you out a bit. If you're thinking about switching from iPhone to the Google Pixel and you're thinking, oh man, it's going to be really hard. Um, I've tried the Google Pixel and it's actually a really nice phone. I probably won't get it because I'm happy with my iPhone 7 for now, but uh, I'm not really loving iOS 10 that much. I think that Apple's kind of messed it up. And uh, with the Google Pixel, um, I feel like Google's doing things right. Uh, the new uh, Android 7.1 is actually really nice. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down twice and I'll see you in the next one. And I'm coming at you live from my new office, which I will start to show you some vlogs from as I fix the paint and the drywall and all the other things. So see you later.